hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm hoist and you're watching possible now and today guys i'm going to guide you about that how you can fix gta 5 a game is currently running array in your system and this video is going to be really simple and short guys so just watch the video till the end and if you need this channel kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and without any waste of time let's start the video so guys method number one here is we need to using system configuration and services so open the system configuration and right click on the start menu and select run and type msconfig and press enter now guys here you need to disable the third party services like go to the services tab and check the box that says hide all microsoft services to prevent disabling essential windows services and click disable all to stop all known microsoft services temporarily and now enable the rockstar games library service only press the r key to quickly locate rockstar games library service and if it's already stopped you need to enable it if the option to enable isn't available do the following steps like manually enable the rockstar games service like press window key plus r and here you need to type services.msc and hit enter now scroll down and find the rockstar games uh, library service and double click to open it set the startup type to automatic and click start then click apply and ok now here you need to restart your pc uh, and uh, the next thing is the verify service status after the restart after restarting open services.msc again and make sure rockstar games library service is running now rename rockstar games folder like open this pc go to documents and find the rockstar games folder and press f2 to rename it to something like rockstar games backup and now run your game client has an administrator open the start menu and research for steam or epic games launcher depending on your platform right click and select run has administrator also run the rockstar games launcher in administrator and after following these steps the error message should be resolved and that's it guys by applying these simple steps your problem will be fixed now and uh, if you found this video helpful kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out